Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'd love for you to take a moment to subscribe to my channel. My channel is about all things beauty and makeup over 40. So if that resonates with you for any reason at all, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. But yeah, let's get into today's palette of the day. Today, I'm going to create a look with the Natasha Denona Love Palette. It has been quite a while since I've played with this palette. So today, I am really excited to jump into it. I've already got my eyes primed. Let me get you zoomed in and we'll get right into the look. I'm going to start off with a fluffy blender. Let me admit that um, for whatever reason, I don't reach for this palette very often. And I think that it's because I feel kind of intimidated by the color story. I'm not sure why that is because I love pink and purples. <laughs> Um, when I first started playing with makeup, I wore pink and purple as like when I first really got into it in high school, I should say. When my, um, cause I, I had been playing with makeup since I was a very, very small child. But when, when I started wearing makeup, like out in public, um, I was in high school and I wore pink and purple eyeshadow. <laughs> and so I feel like although I still love those colors and I gravitate towards palettes that have pinks and purples in them like this one um i just don't find myself actually reaching for those shades anymore and i kind of think it's because of the fact that i did wear those colors when i was so young i feel like maybe subconsciously in my mind it's like i'm taking a step back in my makeup or something i don't really know but that's not the case because well, you can play with the same colors and do very different things. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to flip this brush over and go into this lighter shade. I started off with this color here in the outer portion of my crease. Now I'm going to flip the brush over and go into this shade here for the front part. And I really don't know what kind of a look I'm going for. I just know that I want it to be you know, kind of pretty and romantic feeling for Valentine's Day vibes. If you look, you can see the difference in the tones of that pink, even on my tan, like my light tan skin. Um, this looks more bright and like cool tone, and this looks very warm on the outer edge. So I feel like that's kind of a unique pairing. I'm gonna take this same brush into this darker shade here at the top. And I'm gonna just go into the outer corner a little bit. I don't want this look to get too smoky, but I do want a little bit of a smoky effect, just a little bit. I might need a more detailed brush to get into that corner there. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but that's three different shades so far on the eye. I can tell by looking at it here in person. I hope that that's picking up on the camera. All right, now I'm going to do some glitter glue all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to take this shader from Ruffer and um, I think I'm going to go into this dark grungy color for the outer part of the lid. Ooh, that's really deep and vampy. I 
Okay, well, that one took it all the way over, so I'm going to make this one match. Okay, so now I've got like a really red vampy color going, but I want to top it now with this really pretty shade here in the middle. I'm going to take that on my finger. Let's just see. I hope that you can see the effect on the camera. It is kind of showing up a little bit in person, but it's a little darker than I was hoping. So let's try, let's try this sparkly pink next to it. I'm going to use that on my pinky. Ooh, that's better. I do like the way it looks over that dark shimmer though, because like it gives it a more dimensional look instead of it all just being super bright. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take this little shader from Morphe and I want to play with some of the purples. I'm going to play with this warm purple over here in the corner for the lower lash line. I should have used my Singe Beauty lower lash line brush because this one's a little scratchy. Barely touching my eye though. So. Yeah, I definitely want to get, I'm going to use my Singe Beauty brush for my lower lash line, my favorite lower lash line brush. And I'm going to go into this darker purple here. And just smoke out that lower edge. Ooh really really love the way that looks why don't I play with this palette more I think I need to focus on this palette this month I know it's a little like you know we're already like a third of the way into February and Valentine's Day is this week like in a handful of days but um I'm still I really want to take this opportunity to play with this palette some more this month and just try to develop my updated thoughts on it because I feel like I haven't really given this palette the attention that it deserves and I feel a little sad about that. <laughs> so I definitely, hold on, I got an itch. I definitely want to change that in the future. I'm going to pick up this little pink shimmer here on my E27 brush from Rose and Ben. I just drew a blank. I'm just going to put that there in the inner corner. You can see a little bit of a sheen now, whereas before it was flat, you see? So you do got to tap that off because it's a really shimmery shade, but just... Just for a little bit of shimmer in the eye, um, in the inner eye. And I'm going to just wrap that down a little bit towards the front of the lower lash line and just a smidge there. Okay. I really like the way that looks. So let's see though if we can just Let's see if we can brighten up the eye a little bit though. I've actually never touched this silver shade here. How is that possible? This, <laughs> this silver shade here is completely unused. Let me show it to you really closely without dropping my palette. Can you see this shade? I've never used this shade before. We're changing that today. Okay, I'm gonna use this pretty shader here. And I'm gonna touch this shade for the first time. Ooh. Cannot believe I have owned this palette this long and there's still shades in here that I haven't used. Oh, that was what I needed just to kind of brighten up 
a little bit of the inner corner. Wow, look at the difference that that made right there. <laughs> Let's tap that onto the other side there on the inner part of the eyelid. And just a little bit, like that's just a little bit, it really added a lot of shine. How have I never used that shade before? I feel like that's the punch that I was missing in this palette in the past. And that's what I didn't like about this palette was that all the other shimmers just came off so dark. And because I had never used that silver to apply it onto any of the other shimmers, I never got any brightness out of it other than using that bright matte down there. So I feel like I just learned something new about my Natasha Denona Love Palette, which leads me to why I wanna focus on this palette, No Pan Left Behind style this month, because I have had this palette about two to three years, somewhere in there. I think this is gonna be my third Valentine's Day with it, possibly. Anyway, I've had it for a really long time. I got this palette when it went 50% off. And um, yeah, I have not given it the attention that it deserves. I feel like this is the year that I'm gonna play with this palette some more. So this month, I'm going to roll this into my no palette left, no. So this year for this month, for Valentine's Day looks, I'm rolling this palette into my no pan left behind project. I'm going to create some different looks with this and I'll be posting them in my stories throughout the month. If you're interested, follow me on my Instagram. If I can remember to take that con, if I can remember to film that because I'm not really good at doing that. But um, yeah, so let me know what you think of this look. <laughs> I really like it. I'm not even going to finish it off with any eyeliner because I feel like it's good like this, but... I do need to finish it off with some mascara, so let's do that. So here's the finished look with my Love Palette using a shade in here that I had never used before and officially entering this palette into my No Pan Left Behind project. So. I had a lot of fun playing with this palette today. I'm so glad that I pulled it out. But of course I had been thinking to use the palette. I just hadn't actually pulled it out yet this month. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I would love to hear your thoughts on the look down below. Be sure to comment and let me know your thoughts either on my look or this palette. Is this a color story that you picked up that you like or that you've been curious about? Or is this one that you've decluttered already? I know a lot of people didn't really, this palette didn't really get the love that it deserved. <laughs> so if you're one of the ones that decluttered this palette, I would love to hear your thoughts as to, I would love to hear your reasons as to why. I feel like after today's, after today's look, I feel like I love this palette a lot more than I did in the past. So I'm really excited that I took the chance to play with it today and I love the look. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for watching my video and supporting my channel like you always do. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.